Hello and welcome back and today we want to continue our look at mobile applications but of course today we want to talk about music. We want to talk about the QMusic mobile application from QNAP. It's available on iOS and Android. I know some of these apps are also available on Windows Mobile but for now we'll just stick to what we know and stick with QMusic. So we've already logged into it but you know what let's log out of it. Let's keep this fair. And this is what we see on our desktop interface here. I say desktop mobile interface. Straight away, we've got the download folder on the bottom left. You will see enormous similarities in the majority of the QNAP apps. They are a tweaked version of the same format, but with each version of the app being one in a different color and two more geared towards the intended use. So in the case of this, this whole app is far more centered on the likes of playback of music, albums, playlists, covers, that sort of stuff. So straight away at the bottom, we can add an AS on the network if we want to find another one. And I do still have my backup NAS there, but we're not going to add that today. And of course, settings on the bottom, I have real-time information about the app. And again, some of these are slightly more tailored towards listening to music. So for example, just like the other apps, we've got our download path and the cache and Wi-Fi only and stuff like that. But then we have music shaker, sleep mode. Um, if you've got a Bluetooth headset for controls, you've got it there and other stuff too. And also on the fly transcoding of files as well for your music. And for those that didn't know this, the QID there at the bottom, once again, is for those out there that want to utilize uh, internet level access as opposed to network access, which as you can tell from the Wi-Fi symbol at the top is what how I roll. So if we go into our NAS, we'll go into it there. It connects, it will log us in. And here is the interface. It's just going to take an extra second and we're into it. So straight away, whatever music you've been listening to, boom, there it is at the top. I've got audiobooks, I've got music, I've got the works. Lots of random stuff there. Um, on the bottom, as you can see, talking of the word random, we've got random song, random list. And this means that if you select one of these two, it will play a random song from your entire collection or it will create a random playlist on all of your music. Obviously, favourite is if you star favourite any of this music, which you can do from the QMusic app um, on the QTS interface by your web browser, or you can do it here on the mobile app. But of course, recently added is to look at music you've just added. At the top right, you can refresh the NAS, the, the user interface. You can search for individual folders and files if you want and search for individual tracks. If we go for, for example, it wouldn't hurt if I actually did a search. So if we search for the artist and we're gonna look for Billy Idol, We'll commit a search and boom there's our billy idol and i'm sorry but if you don't like um any of the billy idol's music i'm not saying we won't get on but we may never share that point anyway at the top right of course we can cast to different devices so you can stream the output to bluetooth devices you can stream it to different um media network players such as kodi plex and more if you've got sonos sound systems if you've got bose the network and but you can send it to those or if you've got a nas that has got um, an audio output uh, a speaker or audio in and out such as the b or a series you can send the music to play directly through there rather than your phone very handy indeed and once again straight away from the user interface at the top here we can search through uh, lots of options so we can look at different artists if we want we can go through different um, albums we can do all of that so once again, we can look at all these different artists of music and then straight away, you'll be able to go through their music. And again, you can sequence it by songs. That's what we were looking at before. And once again, a little bit of Christmas, Mariah Carey, why not? And genre and of course, albums. Now, now playing will immediately flick to the music you're already listening to. Folders, if you want to look at it in a far more direct uh, fashion, if you want to see all your folders and files directly, as they are on the NAS, as you uh, saw on QFile and stuff like that. Private collection is if you want to make some files only dedicated to your user login. So if you've created a bunch of different users, it only logs them in. QSync, if you want to synchronize individual folders and files on the NAS with um, other NASs or other devices, of course, the QSync application will, will be featuring that. And of course, playlists and smart playlists. So the smart playlist application here will look at certain genres, look at certain artists, and then it will create bespoke playlists based on your criteria. And of course, you can share those with other NAS users as well. 
Um, on top of that, you've obviously got the favourites. So when you listen to songs, we'll do that in a second. You can select those favourite ones recently added, as mentioned. Frequently play means the songs that you listen to the most. And of course, all the other options you would expect here at the bottom from a QNAP mobile app. So we've got the background task if you're uploading, downloading, editing. Download folder is the work files that you've downloaded to your local phone in this case. Settings, we've already seen before. I've got all, has got all the information with regard to our uh, the application itself and how it behaves. I do apologize for every time that you see that on screen. That's because I keep pressing back and not the top option on the top left. But say we listen to a song. So let's do a quick search here for an individual song. Let's go for, let's go for a title here. We'll go for something interesting. Let's go for something classic. So how about Mozart? Let's listen to a spot of Mozart, shall we? And again, I can't tell if you can hear that. I know I can hear that, but it will be coming through my headset. I'm editing this on. If we go to the bottom, we've got, I'm going to talk quite loud because I can hear music. And this is where we can choose about this song. We can pause it, go to shuffle, skip the next song, lower the volume, as well as removing it, download the song to your local storage, stream it, and more. So again, all the little options there for you in order to listen to your song, make it a favourite, and add it to a playlist, add it to the private collection, and more. You see what I mean? It's very impressive, the selection we've got here for this application. I've just paused that. I hope you do. I hope that does come across in the video. But otherwise, I'm going to wrap things up here. That has been the um, Q Music application for QNAP NAS. If you are thinking of buying a QNAP NAS and you're interested very much on music, how you get it to play in devices in your home or office, or how it integrates with your mobile device, this is a great example. And remember, if you set up iTunes servers on the NAS, they will be visible as well. So thank you so much for watching. Do check out the next videos on the next apps. We'll hopefully move over to some more of the multimedia on the Synology NAS too. We've still got a couple more to get through on the QNAP. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Cheerio.